Hi everyone, welcome once again to another tutorial session by Informatics. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can download and set up GATQ on your PC. So let's get started. So let's first go to the home page, and this is the page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. Here you will find lots of documentation that you can use to get familiar with the GATK environment. GATK is primarily used for VM discovery, so just check this page out. Now let's go to a download page for GATK. So just follow my cursor, come to this tab here, download GATK4. So just click it and then you'll be sent to the download page. Perfect. So we are there. The packages are available on GitHub. So I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So just use that. Now before we download the package, let's go to this uh, page here, the main GitHub repo. So you will see broad institute slash GATK. Just click on GATK and then you'll be sent to the main GitHub repo page. So scroll down and then go to the table of contents. Let's look at the requirements here. So just click it and then you have this here. So to run GATK, you need to have all these requirements satisfied. You need to have all these tools available on your PC. Java 8. With Java, you can install using OpenJDK or Oracle. I have tutorials on how to set up Java in Linux environment, so you can just watch those videos. The links to those tutorials are in the description box. Python 2.6 of data, Python 3.6.2. With Linux, uh, it's likely that you have Python already installed, but the versions I'm not really sure. You have to check and adjust and make sure you have the right versions there. So that's it. With R, you also have to install yourself. I have tutorials on R, so I'll also leave the links to those videos in the description. Box. So just use them to install these tools. There's also another useful page here you can use to um, get um, your system ready for GATK. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So this also gives some descriptions and then um, also gives instructions to um, some tools here. So we have these tools here and then it also gives you step-by-step -step instructions for installing them. For BWE and then some tools, I have tutorials on them. So I will leave the link to those videos in the description box. So just take note of that. You can make your life easy by using Anaconda or Conda um, to install uh, the bioinformatic packages. And I have a tutorial on that as well. I'll just leave it in the description box for you to check out. So I just um, take note of that. Installing GATK using Anaconda is not that straightforward. So uh, that one, I wouldn't recommend that for beginners. You install that separately. And that is what we are going to do. So the other tools you can install with Conda and then you just um, install GATK separately using the binaries, and that is what we are going to do. So let's go back to the download page. So I think I have it here. Um, let's check. Perfect. Okay, so we are back. Again, I'll leave this link in the description box, so don't worry. So let's click this yeah, the number here 4.2.5.0. So with GATK, you can install and set up using binary, so you can also use a Docker image, or you can also compile from source. But for this tutorial, we are using the binaries. That way, you don't need to compile anything. So just download it and just um, run it straight away. So that is here. So just click this link here, this .zip file here. Just click it, and then you'll be asked to save it. So if you are using your browser to download, just click it as I'm done here, and then you'll be asked to save it here. That is all that you need to do. But I prefer to use the command line, so I'll just get the download link. So I'll just right click, and then I'll just copy the link here. Perfect. And then I'll go to my terminal to download. So I am here. So the first thing I'll do is to cd to my home directory. And then I'll download the zip file, the binary file. I'll use widgets. 
So this is it. I'll just type get and then I'll just apply it with a download link to the file like this. You can also use other tools like curl to download, but I'll use widget in my case. So I'll just execute this command. So download has started. The file is yeah, 442 MB. Yeah, so that's the file size for um, this one. Okay, download has been done. Let's play the screen and continue. So do an ls and you see the zip file there. The next thing we are going to do is to extract the contents of the zip file. We need that. So we are going to use the unzip command. So we say unzip and then we specify the file name of the zip file, which is this one here, and then we run it. So this will extract the contents for us. Okay, so it's done. Let's check it out. So do an ls into that directory and then you find the files. But after doing an ls first, you will see that we have this directory here. And then you cannot do ls into that directory to check the contents here. So uh, that is what we have here. So everything is good. Now, if you want to run GATK, you just need to say GATK, you specify the directory, the one you extracted, the contents, the one you extracted here, and then you call GATK, like this. And then it runs nicely for you. Let's play the screen, do an ls. But with the current setup, you always have to specify the four parts, like what I did here. Okay, that's what you have to do. But this approach can be problematic, especially for beginners. And so what we are going to do is to set up our system so that when you type GATK like this, the command will be executed for us. So that is what we are going to do next. So let's continue. So at the moment, because we've not done that setup, we have this error message coming up. So we are going to resolve it soon. So we are going to edit our dot bash file and add a path to GATK. But before we do that, let's also organize our files. I normally have a directory where I put all my software. So I will create a directory called apps. Still in my home directory. I will create a directory called apps and then I will move this GATK directory there. So I will say mv-v. And then I'll move it to the apps directory. So now I'll do an ls in apps and you see your GATK directory there. The next thing we are going to do is to get a part of the GATK executable. Let's just do apps GATK. Perfect. We need the part to this file here. And so we are going to cd to the directory and then just get a path. So let's do this. Let's clear the screen and then just uh, do an ls just to see things again. So let's cd to apps and then we are going to cd to the GATK directory also again. So let's do that. Okay, so we are in there. Now do an ls, you will still see your files there. We want a directory, so we are going to say pwd. So this directory is what we need. This directory, this is what we need. So make sure you copy yours as well. I'll copy mine as well. So just do that. Yours may be different, so just get the right one. That is what we need. So let's cd back to our home directory and then 
we are going to edit our dot bashrc file. But before we do that, let's make a backup of that file. So I'll say cp dot bashrc. I am copying it. Dot bashrc. And then I'll copy it and then I'll give it a new name. bashrc.bak. So this is the backup file. Okay, so it's already there. So we do an ls and we find that file there. So we are going to edit the .bashrc file itself. Not this one, this is just a backup file. It's just for backup in case of any issue, reverse the situation. So the backup file, we do need it. We are going to edit the .bashrc file itself. So you can use any text editor. So I will say none. You can also use vi, which is also a text editor. So I prefer to use nano. So I'll say nano dot bash rc. And then I am in. So I'll just scroll down. Perfect to the last line here. And I'll use a command similar to this line here. So what I'll do is I'll say export path equals or a path. The same as what we have here. Okay, the same as what we have. So, and then we add our colon and we specify the path to GATK there. That is what we need. So, we are adding this because we want the path, the current path, the current path we have. They've all been assigned to this variable path. So, we want that to be maintained. And then we add this to it. That is what we are doing here. So now we can exit. So let's exit. You save changes by the way. And then we are done. But with the current setup, and we still do GATK, there will still be an error. So what you have to do is to open a new terminal and then just run GATK there. You can also use other options in there, but I recommend that whilst this one is opened, just open a new terminal and then just do that. So let's check it out. Uh, do we have that? Okay, perfect. So I have a new terminal here that I'll use. So I'll just type GATK and then everything is done nicely for me. That is what I have here. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. So now we have everything we need. So you can remove the dot bash rc file, the backup itself. So I'll say rm dash i bash rc dot back. I repeat, we are using this one here. This one here, we are removing it. We don't need it, but you can also keep it, it's fine. So rm dash i like this, and then we specify it like this. So why am I adding dash i? When I execute this command like this, I want bash to still ask me one more time if I want to delete this file. Okay, because this command here, when you use it, you cannot recover the file again. So just take it of that. So I'm only removing this one here. So just follow my instructions as you see here. So that's what we are. So I'll just remove it. I'll also remove the zip file. And then I'm done. So that is about it. So once you have this done, just make sure you have all the other dependencies and then you can just get GTK running for you. And future tutorials, I will be making ones on variant calling using GTK. So if I finish with that, I will also leave it in the description box. And you can also watch it right here if it's made available. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.